Nice launch vector and countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine start. Engine start. One. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good afternoon. You are watching the 56th Starlink mission, SpaceX's 36th launch of 2022. My name is Yomezo. I'm a Dragon propulsion engineer here at SpaceX, and I'll be your host here today. We are currently a little under. We are currently a little under T minus five minutes from launch and teams are tracking no issues. We are lifting off from Vandenberg today. And while it can typically be very foggy in Vandenberg, conditions are looking really good with only a 20% chance of violating launch commit criteria. We are getting ready for strong back retraction. The range is green and ready to support liftoff in just a little over four minutes from now. And in preparation for liftoff, uh, we hopefully should be able to see the clamp arms and TE retraction happening here shortly. You can see the clamp arms opening just below the fairing there. And there is the start of the TE retraction. Again, the TE is that truss structure that is currently moving backwards that provides fluids and electrical connections to the Falcon 9 first and second stages while it waits for launch on the pad. It is a beautiful day in Vandenberg today, and we are just about 30 seconds from the start or the end of our stage one locks load. And this is when we'll finish loading the first stage with liquid oxygen, and the second stage will wrap up shortly after that. Stage one locks load complete. There is the call out for the completion of the first stage locks loading. So that first stage, which is the bottom two thirds of the vehicle and is called the booster, is now fully loaded with RP1 and liquid oxygen or LOX. And second stage should finish LOX loading in just a little under a minute from now. You can see really cool views of that cold liquid oxygen causing condensation clouds all around Falcon 9 there. And the reason we load liquid oxygen and fuel so late into Falcon uh, is so that since it's super cold and densified, we want to be able to put as much of it into the vehicle as possible, which is why we wait till as close to launch as possible to load our propellants. Second stage locks loading should be completing here shortly. Stage and two locks load complete. There it is, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with one million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Today marks SpaceX's 174th overall mission and the 10th flight of the booster that you see on the screen. In just a few moments here, Falcon 9 will be in startup and the inter internal flight computers will take over the countdown. 
Falcon 9 is in startup. LD is go for launch. The launch director has given that final go for launch. Let's watch Falcon 9 get ready for takeoff. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9. You can want the chamber power change. As you saw, we had a beautiful lift off of Falcon 9 from Vandenberg Power Space Force Station. Everything is looking good with Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is supersonic. As you heard, Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Falcon 9 has just passed through max Q, which is the maximum dynamic pressure that it will feel during flight. Come back, chill. We have begun chilling in our Merlin vacuum engine on our second stage. Everything is looking good. We are under a minute to main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine startup. You can see on your left the speed and altitude of Falcon 9 right now. It is accelerating right now. We're going almost 5,000 kilometers an hour. In a few moments here, we will have main engine cutoff, stage separation, followed by Merlin vacuum engine startup, and you'll want to watch for fairing deployment happening just shortly after those three events. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. You saw Aaron, separation confirmed. You saw main engine cutoff, stage separation, Merlin vacuum engine startup, and there the Falcon halves popping off to reveal our stack of Starlink satellites. You can see the cool fairing half floating away on the screen on your right, back down towards the Earth. Now today marks the fourth flight for both of those fairing halves that you just saw on screen. And we will be attempting to recover them once again after they fall back down to Earth with the help of our recovery vessel and our sea quest. Beautiful live views from the first stage on your left and the second stage on your right. You can see those grid fins on the first stage and that Merlin vacuum engine on your second stage.
Now the first stage booster is supporting today's Both mission. Both vehicles on a nominal trajectory. Now the first stage of today's booster supporting today's mission has previously launched 10 times, including Crew-1, Crew-2, SXM-8, CRS-23, IXPE, Transporter 4 and 5, Global Star FM-15, and one other Starlink mission. It's got quite a repertoire of launches under its belt. You can see the respective speeds and altitudes of the first and second stages on your bottom left and right. You can see that the first stage is kind of just coasting there as it is making its way back down to Earth, whereas the second stage is accelerating under the power of the Merlin vacuum engine. Now, as a reminder, today's payload is for SpaceX's satellite internet constellation known as Starlink. Starlink recently went live in Estonia, so if you're tuning in from that area and interested in service, check out Starlink.com. It's worth noting that Starlink is behind some of our much improved landing footage lately. If you've watched any of our older launches, you'll know that the video feed used to get uh, we used to get back when we used traditional VSAT systems were super pixelated and at times were hard to even tell what was going on at all. But with Starlink, which has a much lower latency and much increased bandwidth, along with less susceptibility to vibrations, it has allowed us to share some really beautiful rocket landings with everyone watching and hopefully we'll be able to see that again today. We are just a few Stage minutes. Stage one, FTS has saved. We'll be starting our entry burn Stage one, entry burn startup. There is the start of our first stage entry burn. This is a, about a 20 second burn. Stage one, entry burn shot down. We had a good entry burn on our first stage, and that was a three-engine burn that helped slow that first stage down as it entered the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. You might notice the speed of that first stage Both vehicles on a nominal decreasing trajectory. significantly as it is coming into the Earth's atmosphere. In about 30 seconds stage here, one is transonic. we should be seeing the first stage landing burn. And as you just heard the call out, stage one is now uh, traveling near or below the speed of sound. Stage two, FTS has saved. Stage one landing burn. Here's the start of our stage one entry burn. Beautiful view of that drone ship coming into view. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing light deploy. Stage one landing is confirmed. That was an amazing view of the first stage landing thanks to our Starlink satellites. And this marks the 57th first stage landing on this particular drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, and the 56th overall Starlink mission landing and 36th launch of this year, of the year. And back shut down.
you just heard the call out for MVAC shutdown as well. And that was the end of our burn for our Merlin vacuum engine on our second Nominal stage. Orbit insertion. And we just got a confirmation of a good orbit on our second stage, which is carrying our 46 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. And now with the confirmation of a good orbit and a successful stage one landing, we'll wrap up today's launch coverage. But as always, thanks for watching and be sure to check out SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. And we'll see you again soon.